Hey, it's around here. This is a follow-up video to show you what does the members area, the private members area in system.io looks like after somebody buys from you. But this tutorial is going to be unique because I'm going to show you what it looks like after you sell a module, a specific module in a course area and what it looks like with the different cross sales. So I have another tutorial somewhere around here on how to set up cross sales and you can watch that. Now I'm going to show you what it actually looks like once a customer buys one of those modules and what it looks like when they have the option to buy other modules. So I'm going to share my screen, show you exactly what it looks like. So what you're seeing right now is the dot-com truths workshops. Now you'll notice that there is multiple workshops right here. And each one of those is like a module calendar in a day, hiring your first virtual assistant, pre-selling your digital product workshop, testimonials and social proof workshop and others. Now with each of these modules, there is individual lessons. Now what I've done is on this particular one, I have done a sales page or an order form specifically for the testimonials and social proof workshop. So when somebody buys this, the only thing they get access to is this part and nothing else. Then there is this sales page, pre-sell your first digital product. When somebody makes a purchase of this page, then they only get access to this part, this section. Now you can see that I've set it up when you are under the modules. This is the course area and system. You hover over here, hover to courses, go to the course, dot com choose workshops. And the way this is set up is the hiring your virtual assistant. You click on the three dots of the module, click on settings, and then I've chosen the sales page and the funnel step as well. I'm going to go to pre-selling your digital product, click on the three dots or so hover over it, click on settings. Now that I've found it, I'm going to choose the step, which is this order form, click on save. And now this also has a sales page attached to it. Now make sure everything is also done correctly. So for example, the thank you page needs to be optimized. I need to still fix that and so on. But for right now, for the sake of demonstration, let's just go and actually test this process out. So if I was to go here and I'm going to open up in incognito, so now what you're seeing is me logged in in my test account and you can see the section which is explore courses which means these are the courses that the customer sees when they haven't bought something now not only that they haven't bought something but that they haven't bought something and that they are able to sign up for and pay. So if I was to, for example, click on get access, you will notice it will open in a new tab and take them straight to the sales page of this particular offer. The same with this one, it will take them straight to the sales page. And that's just how the process goes. Now, how do you get, if you have a lot of courses, how do you get the course, the right course there? So you go to the course area. In this case, I'm going to pick hiring and managing virtual assistants. And then you scroll down to the section right here, which says sales page and you choose the course and then the funnel step. In this case, it's the order form I'm going to choose. Now I did that already. This is a screenshot and I'm now going to refresh this page and you're going to see that the course on virtual assistance is going to appear right here with this thumbnail and this uh, text as well. So let me refresh this page and then you'll see that it will appear. So here it is. And now when people click on get access, it's going to take them straight to the sales page. Now what they're going to see is the things that I actually have access to. So as you can see, this is a test account. I've already bought a few things in the past as part of testing things. And I'm now going to do another test with you live for one of the workshops because I haven't bought any workshops. I'm going to see what it looks like. So this is the workshop I'm going to be buying, which is pre-selling your first digital product. And then I'm going to call this test. I'm going to put the coupon code in this case. I have a coupon code as well. It's $10. There's also an order bump and it's $7. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video so I can enter my credit card details. My credit card details are in. I'm going to click on get course. Purchase is made. I am on the thank you page with the confetti popping up. And now if I was to now refresh this, I should actually see the workshops right here. So let me refresh. And here it is, dot com choose workshops. Now we can see that I need to fix the thumbnail, stuff like that. I'm going to click on open. Now here's what you're going to see. You're going to notice that I have access to the pre sale digital product and I can actually watch it, which is awesome. But if I was to try and get access to these things, I actually can't do anything. Now here's what's cool. If I was to click on the Stripe workshop and it's not available for purchase, then people are not going to be able to click anything at all. 
However, if I click on the hiring virtual assistants, this part is going to pop up with the buy button. And with the buy button, it's going to take them straight to the sales page again, which is just excellent. Now, again, if I was to now go to the testimonials and social proof and try to log in, again, it's going to show the buy button. So I'm going to click on it and it will take me to the sales page of the social proof and testimonial sales page as well. But the only thing that's going to be available is the one that I actually purchased, which in this case is pre-selling your digital product. And that's that. That's how the workshops looks like on the back end when somebody buys just one of your products. So some things are not going to be visible and some things will be visible basically. And it's going to be obviously visible this way and people are going to be able to see it. And when they click on things that don't have the option to buy, then it's not going to be clickable at all. So there you go. That's what it looks like. If you want to check it out for yourself and see the entire process, what I've done is I have created a $1 module basically. And you can just go buy that one module just to see this whole process and see how it all works for yourself in case you're curious. So I can't give it to you for free because it just the features are just not there to give one module for free that's just not doable so it's just a one dollar cross sell training you're gonna see the video in that particular section and other relevant video on how to set all this up so when you want to learn how to cross sell this is what you're going to learn so you're basically going to buy the cross sell workshop with all the tutorials relevant so you can actually see what cross sells actually look like as well it's all very meta so anyway uh, go ahead if you want to check it out just go to a run dot link forward slash cross sell if you want to learn more and see that process in action. And that's about it. Hope you get value from this training. And that's about it. I'll speak to you soon.